Grumpfuttock meets Enid the witch. Grumpfuttock went to see Enid to learn some magical spells. He knocked on the door three times. He could hear the magic of tinkling bells. Enid opened her cottage door. A smell of incense filled the air. Come in, my friend Grumpfuttock. My magic with you I'll share. She began by casting a circle. A pentagram was drawn inside. Fred the rat seemed to vanish. Mamley the cat went to hide. Enid's cauldron was bubbling wildly. The theme was held in her hand. A chalice was sat on the altar next to a bowl of colourful sand. Bullard red candles were burning. There was a beesum and some wine. There were biscuits in a dish and a scourge of silken twine. What we need, dear Grumpfuttock, some ingredients to cast our spell. But first we need some blessing oil to ensure that all goes well. Eye of bat and tongue of newt, some slime from the back of a snail, just a few drops of morning dew and a clipping of an old toenail. The cauldron bubbled and it hissed, and it waved her magic wand. Now pass me the green bottle, it's just frock spawn from the pond. Enid uttered some magic words, saying Abraka who knows what. Sparks flew from the end of the wand, and Grump Footock felt quite hot. All we need now is some pus, gathered from a weeping saw. Pass me that black bottle, I always have some in store. She handed the want to Grumpfuttock, she said wave it and wish what you will. Grumpfuttock was not quite certain, that puss had made him feel quite ill. Be careful what you wish for, the witch in it started to shout. Believe in what you wish for, never have a doubt. Grumpfuttock wished to be a wizard with a grand throne right next to his bed. But instead he became a lizard with a bump at the back of his head. Enid laughed and cackled, then reversed the spell he cast. Thank goodness for that, said Grumpfuttock. I was worried that spell would last. You need to come and see me again. Come tomorrow at half past one. I'll be back, said Grumpfuttock, and with a smile and a wave, he was gone. <laughs>